What's going on YouTube? Hey, welcome back to Native Crown Family. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a video that I did. I thought it would be a cool video to show you. I, if you don't know, I am in college and I had to do a video for my child development class. And it's basically like a letter to mamas to be on what you should know when becoming a new mom. So I hope you guys like this and it's helpful, you know, and um, I thought you guys would maybe want to watch it. So check out this video. <laughs> My name is Zuria and today I'm going to be talking about some things you need to know when becoming a new mom. The first thing I'm going to be talking about is nutrition. Um, nutrition during pregnancy, after birth, um, they're about the same. I'm going to be speaking mostly from my own experience. Um, make sure that with anything you always do your own research. So, with nutrition, um, for me, it may be different for others, but um, you want to make sure you're taking in about the same as you would in the pregnancy after birth if you plan on breastfeeding. Um, making sure that you take your prenatal pills. Um, these are the ones that I So had. you just want to make sure that you're getting in enough nutrition uh, for your body and for your baby. Moving on to physical activity. A lot of doctors are going to tell you if you weren't working out before, don't work out now. Um, there's a lot of, because you can potentially hurt yourself. Um, there's a lot of different YouTube videos that you can watch um, on YouTube that give you exercises that you can do and the different trimesters of your pregnancy. There's a lot of exercises you can do with exercise balls, with little weights or no weights at all um, at the comfort of your home. So I would suggest to look up some different exercises. Let's talk about physical activity after birth. After birth, you are going to be very extremely tired because you are going to go through a marathon because um, the baby is not going to necessarily come very quickly. Always, You're always in your first time having a baby. It's going to be long, so you want to prepare yourself. So, um, also during pregnancy, you want to make sure you're walking enough. It will help with labor and doing little um, exercises and stuff to get your body prepared for labor. Um, don't try to rush the pregnancy or rush to get the baby out. Um, I would I would advise you with having three children of my own, I would advise you to allow the baby to come when it's gonna come, um, but still be aware and listen to your doctor. Now after birth, you wanna make sure that you Walk as soon as possible, but listen to your body and don't walk too much. Please make sure you advise or speak to your doctor on when it's safe to exercise after birth. Um, make sure that you take it slow and you do um, you don't do very high uh, workouts. You don't do very long workouts. You do fairly like a small amount just listen to your body on it because I had a very hard time working out after having a baby and it was even after three months of having my last child which is my third child um, it was very hard for me to do certain workouts so I had to really take it easy um, I my best advice for you is to really start to just walk um, to start with a slow walk and then a high-paced walk where you're walking 
pretty fast. So let's talk about um, anxiety and stress. Um, you will experience anxiety and stress if you have anxiety already or if you don't have anxiety already. Um, just because it's your first child, you're worried about how things are gonna go. What am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? Oh, what is this baby gonna wear? Oh, what, what, what hospital are we gonna go to? Just because you're worried about how things are gonna go, if, if the baby's gonna come out safely, how you're worried about the pain, you're worried about pretty much everything. And um, the best advice for you, for me to give to you for anxiety and stress is just to make sure that you do things that are de-stressing, um, that you research as much as possible. The more stuff you know, the better you can help yourself, you can help, um, your experience. I would go and tour the hospital. That's always fun. I would look up some YouTube videos. That's pretty much all that I did. Here's an app that I use that really helped a lot to know like how my baby's doing, how what's going on in my belly. I encourage you to go ahead and look up this app and see um, if it works for you. Understand that um, the more support you have would help your stress level after birth and even during birth. Um, support is so important um, so that you and the baby get what you need. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is drugs. Drugs during pregnancy and after birth. So during pregnancy, you're kinda not able to take anything besides Tylenol. Just to and be safe, you should depend more on natural things because a lot of drugs have a lot of side effects that can potentially hurt the baby. So um, as far as for me, I, I depended on a lot of natural things. I did a lot of things like teas, like um, raspberry leaf tea to get me ready for labor, or uh, Camilla lavender. Um, to help me sleep. Um, there's another tea that, uh, ginger tea to help me with nausea. So I would really um, look into more natural things as far as drugs during pregnancy. After, pre after birth or during labor, I should say, they will offer you two different types of drugs, which is an epidural and I forgot the name of the other one, but it's a little, um, it's a little different than epidural. It's like, it helps you for a little bit and then it wears off type of thing. Um, I didn't do any drugs for labor. Um, I just did it completely natural. Um, as far as epidural or the other drug, I would suggest you to just do your own research about it. After birth, you are kind of just, it's pretty much the same. Um, you could take Tylenol. I believe they give you um, a stool softener because, you know, you're going through a lot of pain. So your body's kind of, it like <laughs> tightens up to where, you know, you don't go boom for uh, a bit. And um, they give you a blood thinner because of all the blood clogs that may happen, as well as some, I believe Motrin or um, other hospitals may do ibuprofen to help with the pain. Um, I took all of those and everything went One thing I can tell you that is not necessarily a drug, but it's it helps tremendously after having your first baby and on after that is called um, pad sickles. Pad sickles is where you get a pad and you put aloe vera, you put lavender, you put witch hazel um, on this pad and then you wrap it back up and you put it back in the freezer. Um, so I highly encourage you to try this. What we're gonna talk about is prenatal care. Prenatal care is fairly easy, it's very exciting, especially in your first pregnancy, hearing the baby's heartbeat, seeing the baby inside your tummy. Um, um, other things that happen during pre 
prenatal care is you do a glucose test towards the end of your pregnancy. Um, you do different labs um, where they take blood to see like if you're doing okay, if you're anemic, if you have any, you know, diabetes, etc., etc. You can also um, have to do a pap uh, where they swab the walls of your um, private area. That, that's all I have for you guys. I hope this is so helpful for the new mamas to be. And I hope that you guys have a great day and you have a great labor and delivery and post. Okay, y'all. So that's Bye. all I have for you today. I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. I hope you like, share, and comment. Leave some comments down below on some tips for new mamas um, that you think was helpful for you or that you didn't know that you want to share with uh, a new mama. All the tips are greatly appreciated. Please comment down below. Um, I hope to guys see you guys soon in the next video. Yo, first son on this track. Lyrical vibe, spiritual ride. Cut from the same cloth, we the chosen side. It takes one to make a run, son. Reporting us straight to the rope months. Bible fire, inspire, no liar. We keeping these laws entire. The truth is what we talking about. We saying these things with a loud shout. Spit it out. What you go about, prove us wrong. With your lazy route, now check it. Israel is who we be. We've been fed up with what you do to me. Speaking naturally, Israel is one body. Bringing this a kick harder than karate. Now check it, the, the world's, world's clear. clear. We the ones that's gonna be left here. And y'all about to disappear. Spiritual ride. Spiritual, yeah. spiritual, yeah. spiritual yeah. lyrical yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. spiritual yeah. lyrical yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. lyrical yeah. spiritual yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. spiritual yeah. lyrical yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. spiritual yeah. spiritual yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. lyrical yeah. spiritual yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. lyrical yeah. spiritual yeah. ride. Spiritual, yeah. ride.